Hi, I'm Junius Johnson from Junius Johnson Academics, and I want to tell you today about a course that I'm teaching this fall, a semester-long course on Kepler education called Close Reading Fantastical Literature. I want to unpack the two halves of the title of that course. The first half of the course, Close Reading, tells you the skill that I want the students to develop over the, the course of the course. That is, I want to have them practice and learn to do the skill of close reading. Close reading is to read a text with a great deal of attention to the details of the text, the details of the character, the plot, and the setting, and how those things interact with one another to create the meaning that emerges from the text. Close reading is something that all of us do on things that we love. Whenever you see your kids coming home from watching the latest Marvel movie and they're arguing about various theories about, you know, whether this should have happened or what that meant that that happened and how this kind of came about, what they're doing is they're doing close reading of that text, of that movie. Close reading is also the skill that's required to read literature as literature. The difference between reading for fun and reading for character formation is precisely reading with the kind of attention that will draw you deeply into the story and will allow the story to have the types of effects on you, to do the work on you that it's trying to do. The best thing we can hope for for our students of literature is that they would do close reading and therefore get sucked in. When the Odyssey is no longer some really long poem that I've got to read for school, but is instead the adventures of this guy that I can totally relate to and that I'm completely caught up in, then not only do students do their reading assignments with joy, but also the book itself is now no longer confined to the classroom. It becomes part of the way they talk about and look at the world. And that's the skill that I want to see students develop in this semester long course. Now the second half of the course title is Fantastical Literature, and that's the means by which I want to go at close reading. What's important here is that often students, and I was myself this way, find that the stuff, they may love reading and be all about books, but they don't really like the types of books that they're normally assigned to read in school, and so there's this big disconnect. In my mind, in my instance, it was very bad. I would read hundreds and hundreds of pages of books every week, while studiously ignoring the reading assignments for all of the English classes that I was in. What doing close reading on fantastical literature does for us is it allows us to present the types of stories to students that they're naturally disposed to love because children naturally love the fantastic. Really, humans naturally love the fantastic, but children are closer to that love than, than adults are. Um, so we present them the stuff that they love, but we do it in a way that asks them to then go on and apply those close reading skills to those texts. What I hope they'll discover is that close reading is a way of unlocking reading, unlocking the joy and love they have in reading those texts, but also that reading things like Harry Potter or Percy Jackson is not a different type of task than reading things like Homer and Shakespeare. It's all just reading, and the same skills that unlock the one unlock the other. For this course, what I'm doing is selecting fantastical literature that is uh, within the canon or canon adjacent. So uh, in other courses that I do, we'll read quote, books with dragons or books with fairies. This course is gonna stick close to the types of books that could make it onto book lists, but it's gonna pick the books from the book list that have fantastical elements to them so that we can be engaging around that. The fantastical uh, is a mirror held up to our reality. By magnifying aspects of our reality, it makes it easier for us to talk about and discuss those things. And so that's the type of core classroom interaction we're gonna have. We're going to be using these texts as ways to practice close reading and as ways to take a closer look at ourselves and the world around us. So I hope that your children will be able to join me this fall for close reading, fantastical literature.